The evolution of humans has always been one of the most captivating research areas to study and understand humankind. While this evolution began millions of years ago, the current Homo sapiens can be better understood in the context of the Holocene era or the Age of Man. This term is a little deceptive because our own subspecies, Homo sapiens, had developed and distributed around the planet long before the Holocene began. Despite this, the Holocene has witnessed the entire known history of humanity, as well as the rise and fall of all of its civilizations. Humanity has had a significant impact on the Holocene environment. While all animals have some influence on their surroundings, few have ever affected the world as much, or as quickly, as our species has. The Holocene Epoch of the Quaternary Period, is the most recent geologic epoch which began, 12,000 to 11,500 years ago, at the end of the Paleolithic Ice Age, and continues till now. As an overview of this era, it can be said that the glaciers of the late Paleolithic era receded as the earth warmed. Forest replaced tundra. Extremely large animals that had evolved to extreme cold, such as the mammoth and woolly rhinoceros, went extinct when the temperature changed. Humans, who were originally reliant on these giant animals for a large portion of their nutrition, began hunting lesser species and increasing their collecting of plant resources to supplement their diet. Throughout the Holocene, the climate has remained relatively constant. Ice core data suggest that following the end of the previous ice age, there was global warming and cooling phases before the Holocene, but climatic shifts became more localized at the onset of the Younger Dryas. The Holocene warming is an interglacial era, and there's no reason to think it means the current ice age is coming to an end. However, present global warming may cause the Earth to rise to temperatures similar to those of the Eemian stage, which peaked around 125,000 years ago and was warmer than the Holocene. A super-interglacial is a term used to describe this scenario. The 8.2-kilo-year event, a 150-year-long cold spell documented as a negative excursion, is the most significant climatic event in the Holocene period and may have signaled a resumption of ice cover. The ultimate draining of Lake Agassiz, which had been contained by the glaciers, is assumed to have triggered this event, which disrupted the Atlantic's thermohaline circulation. During the relatively brief Holocene, animal and plant life did not change significantly, but there were huge shifts in plant and animal dispersion. In the late Pleistocene and early Holocene, enormous species such as mammoths and mastodons, saber-toothed cats like Smilodon and Homotherium, and gigantic sloths became extinct, particularly in North America, where animals that thrived elsewhere, such as horses and camels, fell extinct. The advent of the progenitors of Amerindians has been blamed for the extinction of American megafauna, while most scientists believe that climate change had a role as well. As it was mentioned previously that this era is also referred to as the Age of Man, it is hence essential to talk about human developments as well. In much of Europe, the start of the Holocene correlates to the start of the Mesolithic era. However, in areas with extremely early Neolithization, such as the Middle East and Anatolia, the Epipaleolithic is favored over the Mesolithic. The Hamburgian, Federmesa, and Natchian cultures all existed during this time period, and it was during this time that the oldest inhabited places still exist on Earth, such as Jericho in the Middle East, were first settled, as well as evolving archaeological evidence of proto-religion at sites like Gebekli Tepe, dating back to the 9th millennium BC. The Aceramic Neolithic and the Pottery Neolithic are then followed by each other. In North America, the Late Holocene featured new fighting strategies and developments like the bow and arrow. Beginning in Oregon and Washington, spear throwers with huge points were replaced by bow and arrows with little narrow points. Increased fighting has led to community food collection rather than individual hunting, for security in villages constructed on protective bluffs. It is no mystery that human activities have had far-reaching effects on our planet's biodiversity. At least five significant mass extinction events have occurred on Earth, and scientists speculate a Holocene extinction, according to which we are in the midst of the sixth major extinction catastrophe, 
which is entirely due to human activity. According to the population levels necessary to sustain genetic viability, up to 30% of plant and animal species might become extinct in the next 100 years. Today, habitat degradation is the major cause of extinction. Don't worry about the next major extinction, there is a lot of time left before it comes. But you should always be conscious of your activities which might harm the nature. Become more environment friendly by subscribing to Explified. If you like the video, hit like and share it with your friends. Check out our channel for more awesome content. See you in the next one.